Good evening and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yankee101 and I am here to do my TBR 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 my TBR 10 for February. This might be a short little video. I still need to do my wrap up video for both uh, December and and January, but that video will come at some point. I'm just excited to choose my new book. I am currently still reading Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. I'm almost finished. See, just a small little like 70 pages or so left to go. And then I can jump into my February reads for this month. <clears throat> now, to give you a quick update for this year, I am planning to hopefully read 52 books. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a lot, does it? Wow, that sounds very pathetic. But I chose to do one book a week, hopefully. Sometimes I read more, sometimes I read less. My goal is 52. If I reach it, yay! If I don't reach it, that's okay. It's not a competition. But to me, it is competition against myself. But I digress. We are here for the 10. Um, I'm not going to do the tarot card reading or the tarot card one just because I feel like that might put too much stress. So I'm going to keep it to three books. For February, and then just keep it three books every month and not four books. So, just to keep it safe, because I did not finish the books that I planned to finish, and I read other books, and there's mood reading and all that jazz, but that's not here nor there. Our first book is about to be decided by my chupa chups, my tin, the tin of TBRness that is this thing. Hopefully we get something good. Hopefully get something interesting. I've got some new books in here. Not in here. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I am a little bit sick. But I got new books and, and, and stuff and all those amazingness and goodness and happiness. Who doesn't like getting new books? But yeah, let's fool around in here. To see what will be. The same as last time. If I pull it out, whatever the camera thing is the one I chose because I printed wrong. Otherwise, it will be, it will be going both ways. Okay. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop talking crap. Let's see. Let's get one. Wabam. What does that even say? That's upside down. <clears throat> Love or heart in the title. Love or heart in the title. Love or heart in the title. No, I don't, I don't think I have anything. I, I can't think of anything. I'll, 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 I'll. Can we get hearts on the cover, maybe? Can we do that? Can we do hearts on the cover? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what, whatever it is. Okay. Book number two. Well, bam. What does that even say? You or your in the title. We're going with the theme. <laughs> We've got a theme going this month, which is joyous occasions for us. <clears throat> Hopefully I'm not. Some of these are lying flat down, which I think is a little bit unfair. Okay. Okay, okay. We'll take this one. Not this pack. Okay. And the last one is... Ooh. Can't read that. The light is so strong. Romance. <laughs> I know. I know already. I was like, there was, I was, I was thinking like, there's one book that I really want to read that's apparently a romance. And oh boy, oh boy, thank you. Ten, ten of happiness. This is the ten of happiness. Although the love or heart, like I had a book. I not in the title, but on the cover, I've got hearts. I think there are hearts. There's not. There's no heart. Never mind. There's no heart. I lied. I'm lying to you. I do apologize for lying to you. That's not what I mean. <clears throat> to do for my video. So we've got love or heart in the title. We've got you or your in the title. And then we've got romance. So let me jump into my book section and see what books I have. Well, at least I know one, one for the romance I already know, but I'll be back soon. Meow.
Okay, we're back again. We're back again. We're back again. We're back again. So I did find one book with heart in the title. But it's a Christmas book, and I'm not going to read a Christmas book in the middle of February. So I'm just going to make an executive decision and then just choose something else. And then we'll just go back in there, give it a little mix, and we'll choose something new. What will be our new card? Because I have two books. I have a U in the title. I have a romance, which is a thick boy, but a very pretty book. Okay, is this one? Is this one? What does it say? A classic. Again, do I even own any classics? I do not. I do not own any classics. Oh, well, okay. We'll, we'll try another one. We'll try another one. Okay, this is a fail. It's a failure of a video. I know, I know. But we will try. I don't have any classics. I don't. Not any classics here. Maybe back home I have classics, but not here. I don't have any classics. Okay, last one. Last one. We'll take it. We'll do it. We'll be interesting with it. <clears throat> Interspecies romance. I have an interspecies romance, actually. Already on the list. My romance book is kind of an interspecies romance. Um, I already have interspecies romance. So we'll put that one back. And we'll try again. We'll, we'll just try again. Well, it, it's... it's it's just not going to be a successful video. That's all. That's all. Okay. Last one. Hopefully last one. What does that say? Foiled cover. The fuck is a foiled cover even? What is a foiled cover? I don't even know what a foiled cover is. Second chance author. A second chance author. Do I even have a second chance author at the back? I don't think so. I haven't been reading that long. I don't even know. What exactly is a foiled cover? Like, give, give me a moment so I can look up. What is a, fo a foiled cover? I even tried Kindle on my phone to see if I've got something, and that's where I found the the um, holiday romance book. But who wants to read? <clears throat> who wants to read that in February? I'm a thin metatic. A thin metatic. A thin metallic. No, also no. I do, I like I I I I I I. This is this is just. This is not working out for me at all. Okay. This will this will be the one. This will be the one. Let's see. What does it say? It's upside down. Prophecy. A book about prophecy. I've got a book in mind. Grumpy Sunshine is at the back for prophecy. Oh. Prophecy? I don't know if it is prophecy, though. I have to find out if the book I have in mind is... Prophecy or not. So, once again, I'll be back. We're back. It's not prophecy. But at this stage, I'll take anything I, I want. Because it's my channel. And my time. So I'll do it. Because I can. 
and I want to thank you, TBR10, for helping me choose my books. You're so amazing. Okay. Okay. Oh! My chair didn't just break. My chair didn't just break. It's fine. It happens all the time. It's okay. Anyway, let's get into the book. So, we've got three. First one, we've got Prophecy. Or as close to Prophecy as you can get. And for pro prophecy, pro prophecy, I chose Ashes of the Sun by Django Wexler. Because it's not about prophecy, but it sounds like it should be. So I chose it. This is what the back says. 400 years ago, a cataclysmic war cracked the world open. Amid the ashes, the Dawn Republic now stands guard over lands littered with eldritch relics and cursed by plague spawn outbreaks. But a new conflict is looming, and brother and sister Gaia and Maya have found themselves on opposite sides of it. Oh, Maya's my cat name. My cat's name. She's not here right now, so I can't show her off. At the age of five, Maya was taken by the Twilight Order and trained to be a centaur wielding forbidden arcana to enforce the Dawn Republic's rule. On that day, her brother Geyer swore to destroy the order that stole his sister, whatever the cost. Twelve years later, brother and sister are two very different people. She is the Twilight Order's brightest prodigy. He is a thief, bandit, and revolutionary. Together, the siblings will discover that not even ties of blood will keep them from splitting the world in two. P.S. There's a prophecy involved. That's the first book. Second book, with you and your in the title, which was a little bit easier to get. <clears throat> Have Adam Silvera with History Is All You Left Me. Now, I talked about this book before. This is one of the newer books that I bought in an actual bookstore and not online. So I'm going to go through it again. If you watched the video before where I went through what the story is about, then um, I do apologize. But History Is All You Left Me. Griffin has lost his first love in a drowning accident. Theo was his best friend, his ex-boyfriend, and the one he believed he would end up with. Now, reeling from grief and worsening OCD, Griffin turns to an unexpected person for help, Theo's new boyfriend. But as the relationship becomes increasingly complicated, dangerous truths begin to surface. Griffin must make a choice, confront the past or miss out on his future. See? You, you, you. It's in the title, I take it. Am I going to cry? Most probably. I feel like, I mean, this, this Adam Silvera wrote, they both die at the end, so. Hey. And now for romance. Oh. I'm so excited. I wanted to with this book. And this is also interspecies relationships. Because we are interesting like that is Wolf Song by TJ Klune. Ooh, ah, oh, look at the sprayed edges. Ooh, ah, oh, she's beautiful. She's amazing. Mm, so excited. So I wanted to put this on my reading list for February. No matter what happened, I would have found a way. I would have drawn hearts on it if I had to. No, I wouldn't have done that. I would not have done that to this beautiful book. But it says... <clears throat> Ox Matheson was 12 when his father taught him a lesson. Ox wasn't worth anything and people would never understand him. Then he left. Ox was 16 when the energetic Bennett family moved in next door, harboring a secret that would change him forever. For the family are shapeshifters who can transform into wolves at will. Drawn to their magic, loyalty and enduring friendships, Ox feels a gulf between this extraordinary new world and the quiet life he's known. He also finds an ally in Joe, the youngest Bennett boy. Joe is charming and handsome, but haunted by, scar by scars he cannot heal. See, interspecies, they're wolves. Arr. Ox was 23 when murder came to town and tore a hole in his heart. Violence flared, tragedy split the pack, and Joe left town, leaving Ox behind. Three years later, the boy is back, except now he's a man, and Ox can no longer ignore the song that howls between them. So oh, sweet. That's my romance book. So, this is what my reading looks like. This is what I've picked. For romance, we've got Wool Song by TJ Klune. In the title, You or Your, History is All You Left, Left Me by Adam Silvera. And for our makeshift prophecy book, Ashes of the Sun, Shun, Sun, Sun 
by Django Wexler. This has been my TBR10 Destroys My Life. Thank you, TBR10, for joining us on this amazing show. Back to you, Jane. I don't know who Jane was. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just embarrassing myself. <laughs> embarrassing myself. But that was the video. I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful life, wonderful whatever you're doing. Don't let fear interfere with your happiness. You deserve all the happiness in the world. Friede, liefde, vrede, vreugde, geluk, blijdschap, liefde, all my dinkies for you. Until next time, where I hopefully do my book rack up. I'm done. Bye!